Well, here at the University of Reading, what we've created is a robot with a biological brain. This is a brain where the neurons are cultured, are grown under laboratory conditions, so that the only control of a physical robot is this biological brain that we have grown. Now, this is really exciting because we can put the robot into different situations and see how the memories that the robot have actually appear in the brain. We can see the neurons firing and making connections between each other. When we understand what's happening in the brain, this has tremendous potential within the medical world, particularly things like Alzheimer's disease. We can actually see what's going on in a brain, a biological brain, with memories. How are memories stored? How are they recollected? And what happens in the future? Can we strengthen the memories so that they don't disappear? We're really getting to the exciting stage of the project where we can try and teach the robot how to behave. But already what's amazing is with the robot going through particular procedures, coming to the wall, avoiding an object, and doing that repetitively, it's actually learning in that way. The neuron links are strengthening just from the habit that the robot has of doing something repetitively. I mean, you can see this in humans. You do something frequently, you get used to doing it, you become better at it. That's what's exactly happening within the robot. We don't even have to tell it. It's improving as it keeps doing something.